Good morning, it's Vlogmas Day 20. I was up and out fairly early this morning because I needed to get over to a friend's place in time to have some tea with her and give her her Christmas gift. More of a solstice gift, really. It's the shortest day tomorrow. One of my favourite times of the year, for sure. I made a coffee and I am stealing one of my son's mugs. He bought himself two large mugs from a thrift, two different thrift stores, probably at different times. And it's a really nice size for a very large cup of coffee or tea. I also have one of the uh, treats that one of my friends brought over yesterday. Look at the size of this muffin. It's massive. Cranberry bran muffin. So that's going to be my lunch. I think I might have a sliced banana with it as well. I do like to have raw food as often as possible. In the winter, I tend not to have raw food enough, I find. And I really love smoothies, but when it's cold out, somehow I don't want to be cold inside as well. So that falls by the wayside. It's been a really mild day so far. When I got up this morning, it was six degrees. I couldn't believe my eyes. I had had to double check it because I couldn't believe the thermometer said six degrees. It's uh, on the weather station over by my husband's side of the couch, and we've got the thermometer out in the the scythia bush out there, or the lilacs. And it went up to seven by lunchtime as well. So that is so mild for this time of the year. It's just crazy. I did get a little bit of film of the view from my friend's deck because it's such an expansive view and it was absolutely gorgeous. The sun, before it got high enough to be hidden by the clouds, the sun was peeking out and shining off the lake. It was so lovely. have to take your sunshine where you can get it in the winter, don't you? I'm not sure what the afternoon has in store for me at this point because I did have an idea that I was going to take my middle son to the mall and exchange some shoes that I got for him that were a bit too narrow. Depends if he is up for that or not. If not, my afternoon is my own. And I do have a plan of making butternut squash cannelloni for dinner. Not sure what the family's going to think of that because butternut squash, you know, it's one of those things. Love it or hate it. Um, but originally we were going to go to a potluck today and that's what I planned to take to the potluck. So I'm making it anyway. Um, it looks delicious and the photo in the cookbook but I do have to bake a couple of squashes ahead of time so that I can prep that later on. It looks like a fairly simple recipe. And then, of course, tomorrow I have um, a specific solstice dinner planned, including a Yule log. And I was going to attempt to make a... Swiss roll type thing where you bake a thin rectangular cake on a whole baking sheet and roll it and fill it with something yummy. So I'm going to have to see if there's any specific recipes for that on the internet because I know I don't have a recipe for that. I mean, I could use um, a regular cake recipe and just cook it on a baking sheet. But I think I'll see if there's any specific ones because it'll give me more inspiration for what to put inside it and maybe what to decorate it with afterwards. When we were still having real fires in our fireplaces way back when, at Christmas, we always made an effort to have a real fire. And for a few years, we would take an actual real wooden log and decorate it and burn that on the night 
I think Christmas Eve, we did it on Christmas. Or it might have been solstice, actually. Because for a while there, we sort of abandoned Christmas and we were just doing solstice. That was our day of feasting and gifting. And of course, as we all got older and our priorities shifted and I started working and the kids started working and it was more difficult to sync everyone's schedules, then it's become a sort of movable feast, really. So we do it when we can. I was talking to my friend earlier when I was having tea at her place and thinking it would be nice to make maybe a cowl to go with that pink beanie. I have a partial ball and a whole other ball still to use in that pink. So I think that could be my next project, which of course is deliberately accidentally on purpose, as we used to say, distracting me from the two whips that I don't want to address right now. <laughs> Funny how that happens, isn't it? It's like, I really don't want to work on that right now. What can I work on? What can I make that's not that? Just so that I can make it look like I'm busy with other stuff right now and I can't possibly do that. Yeah. I think we all do that sometimes. However self-disciplined we are, and I'm not saying I am, I think we all sometimes try and distract ourselves from the tasks at hand that are maybe more important or more pressing. I know, I don't know. Oh, one thing I did do when I got home from my friend's place was I hung the apples out on the trees. I didn't want to put them out yesterday because it was dark by the time my friends left. And if I'd left them out overnight, probably the raccoons or deer or something would have eaten them all before the birds even knew they existed. So now I have some in the front yard on the dogwood tree, which is a really small tree, but the little branches are perfect for those twine loops that we attach to them. And then I have some on the lilac out there because, again, there's lots of little twigs which are perfect for putting loops on. And I'm hoping the birds get a good go at them before any bigger wildlife decides to um, scoff the lot. Okay, it's time to eat my muffin now. So I'll talk to you again later. The dinner recipe for today is coming out of this book. And I'm hoping it looks as good as Lauren's. Mine won't have fresh sage leaves on the top, though. And I cheated and I used BioLife mozzarella instead of making my own from the book. It was a messy process squirting that butternut squash mixture into those cannellonis. But I'm hoping it tastes good. I almost forgot to get some film of this. Two of us have already chowed down on this and it was pretty good. So I'm going to give you a quick flash of my Hello Kitty onesie, <laughs> which was the first fleece onesie I ever sewed um, a couple of months ago. Maybe it was in November. It was either Vlogtober or it was in November. I had a onesie day and I was wearing my buffalo plaid onesie. Um, that was my second one that I made. This was my first. And you can tell it was my first and that I kind of messed it up because the print's upside down. I cut the whole thing out. I sewed it all together. I put it on. And then I realized my mistake. And I thought, I'm not changing it. I'm not going to resew it. <sighs> anyway, it's cozy, perfect for winter evenings. I was thinking about this beanie and that I had another ball of pink. And I decided that it needed a cowl to go with it. 
don't have enough for a scarf. And anyway, who wears scarves these days? It's mostly cowls and they're quicker and easier to make. So I did look at Ravelry for a bunch of inspiration for something that would coordinate with it. I was looking for something with a similar relaxed cable. Um, and I thought, why would I use a different pattern? I could just use this pattern. So what I ended up doing, I've only cast on and knitted one round. I had to start again because I changed my mind on the size of the needles. So this is the second attempt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit 16 rounds of ribbing with four millimeter needles. It's going to be looser than the hat because the cowl needs to be a bit looser around your neck. So four millimeter needles, US six, and then I'll do the exact same knitting that is on here. Oh God, that went really dark there. You couldn't see anything, could you? Okay, so I'm going to do the same repeats of the cable. So it looks exactly the same in the middle. And then I'll do another 16 rounds of ribbing. So I'm going to use the size six, four millimeter needles for the top and bottom ribbing. And I'll use the size five millimeter US eight needles for the center section, just like the hat. And I'm going to do the exact same cable so it will match perfectly. It'll be the same cable pattern and the same color. Okay, that's decided. So that'll be fairly simple knitting. I've written it out exactly as I want to do it so I can just check off the row of the rounds as I go. Easy peasy. Before I sign off for tonight, I just want to show you this decoration that I got from my friend Annette. When she came yesterday, she brought a few of them to share. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's a it's a clear ornament under there, I think, and it's wrapped in yarn and has little little pins in there that look like knitting needles. I'm not sure what she used to make those. Hmm, I'm thinking she might have used dowels actually and sharpened one end and put beads on the other. How fun is that? Because we had extra, I ended up with two of them. So those are going to become one of the regular features on my tree every year from now on. I love when I get ornaments from people because they come out year after year and it reminds you of that person and it's just nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. So I'm going to wind this up now because we are going to have a hot milky drink and I will get more knitting done. We've actually been listening to music this evening. It was really quiet in here early and I felt like I wanted some sort of background noise, but I didn't want videos. I just wanted to focus on the knitting. So I put YouTube music on instead and I found a fairly contemporary music playlist that I've really been enjoying. Just had it on low in the background and it's uh, it's been very pleasant. So that's the end of Vlogmas Day 20. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate all the lovely comments I got after yesterday's video.